Museum. Uh. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of a series I am very excited for. I will be returning to a video game that I have played literally thousands of hours in my life. I think that all up between Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2, I have spent multiple thousands of hours playing this game, but I'm a grown man now. I have a wife and children. I have a mortgage. I pay my taxes. And I've decided it's time to return to something that brings me joy. And that's Guild Wars. So we're gonna start a new character. You can kind of see that in the back. I guess before I do that, I should probably explain a little bit that uh, I've played this game before. I've got five level 80 characters. I actually had a sixth level 80 character who I think was like an engineer or something. And I deleted him because I can't remember how to play this game. Nothing wrong with starting over. I think I want to be, what do I have back here? I've got a human, a Norn, a Silvari, an Asura, an Asura, a human, a Nord. I've got a human, I've got a Nord, I've got an Asura, I've got a Silvari. So I need a Char. I never, I think I, the one I deleted was a Char Engineer. I did it, I did it before I started recording. So what do I have? Ranger, Berserker, I think that's a, that's a Revenant, that's an Elementalist, that's a Thief, that's a Guardian, I'm pretty sure. So I should do, let's just go all in with a Warrior. Let's just go in there swinging. I want to be tall as crap. I'm trying to be yoked. I want to be jacked, you know? I want to be white. Ugh, I should have said that differently. I don't care what color I am. Gold is going to be my color. Horn length. That's just ridiculous. That's it. I don't know if this matters. I'm not going to wear this stuff for more than five seconds. I wear a Spangenhelm, a Galea, or no helm at all. Because of this, I'm recognized and given proper respect. True word doesn't need to help. My images will cringe and falter when they see the fearless determination on my face. Trouble may follow me, but I use my dignity, my ferocity. I am blood legion. I charge straight into battle. It pushes the front line of con of combat. Cunning, boon of war machines. Nah, me, I sprint in, swinging these things around. I would die for my war band, especially blank, my sparring partner. We're trying to be a tough dude. They tell me the soldier that sired me is a loyal soldier, a sorcerer, shaman, or an honorless gladium. I like that story that my dad like bailed on his, there we go. What's a cool name? What's a char name? Charizard? Is that a good one? Cha the char. Cha. Cha's already in use. Hmm. I just, Zidert. Just smack it. Zijin. Ged. Getters. Gerds. There you go. His name's Gerds. That's what you get when you just slap the keyboard. You'll figure something out. Oh. I am a char. Me too. Gosh, that's a good voice. In this world of constant battle, I am the deadliest weapon of all. I respect no authority, but the clenched fist of my legion. Yeah, me too. With engines of destruction, we have killed our gods. What? We reclaimed our homeland of Ascalon. And we planted victory. Oh, that's from the first game. I remember that a little bit. Yet, if we waver, it could slip through our claws. Victory at any cost. Okay. The Blood Legion is my mother. Ah. The Blood Legion is my father. Oh, okay. We are born into battle. We live on the fields of war. And I, I will die fighting. You chop that I'm dude a soldier, up. A great <clears throat> front line infantry. I face the enemy head on. Me too. I also do that. What's happening? I've earned the respect of my comrades and forged alliances I can call on in time of need. In the Blood Legion, we're taught the meaning of the word duty. We are relentless. Today, the soldiers of the Black Citadel assault the ghosts that plague this land. I've been assigned to reinforce the Bulwark. The ghosts Let of the Ascalon. Strike from the shadows. Let the Iron Legion build its machines of war. I will not stop fighting until the only thing left standing on the field of battle is me. You're gonna kill your other this? people? Hey man, I know how to get you hyped. They know how to get me pumped, I guess. I play this with an Xbox controller? How cool would that be? Ah, I can't play with an Xbox controller. I don't know what that does. Remove conditions and heal yourself. Okay, I shouldn't have pressed, just press any buttons. What's this thing up here? 
Wizard's Vault. <laughs> I'm not gonna do these two. We got a reward for logging in! Hey oh five astral acclaim. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is gonna kill me. I just know it. Hello! B. Just in time, soldier. The ghost army's been bashing the gates for weeks. We finally broken through. Fight your way to the front and report to Centurion Chris Knife orders. Chris Knife! May thy knife chip and shatter. I just watched Dune 2 yesterday a couple days ago. Charge! Are you new? Am I by myself? I'm by myself, aren't I? Come here, you nerd. Now you. I don't know what this means. So if I double click on them as I am walking up to them, I think that he starts attacking automatically. Okay. Nice. It was at this point that I reached my first cutscene. And this is the first introduction to like the storyline of the game, I guess. So I'm here fighting with my war band and we're supposed to like fight the ghosts and win the battle and all that. But this guy's telling me that I need to go help some other dude far away named Brimstone Ritlock or something. But at this point, I'm actually fighting with my war band right now. So this is gonna come back to kick me in the butt later, I think, but we'll see that in a little while. And we can rebuild our perimeter. On my way. On my way. On my way. Does that sound good? On my way. On my way. Hopefully that sounds cool. And then this is where you really kind of get the first taste of real combat. So you can fight kind of up your way at there. But then now they're telling you to go on this mission. So I stopped over to fight these ghosts. So you can see that I've got this auto attack in that first slot, that one going that changes the attack from time to time. Uh, so it's got like three different attacks, but it's basically your basic attack that will go over and over again. And these guys I'm fighting are ghosts from Ascalon, which is something from the first game. It's like where the Char used to live, but humans were racist. So we kicked them all out. It's weird. But now I've got it locked to 60 FPS. Is there any point to doing that? Unlimited. I guess I'll just leave it as unlimited. My sister was watching this. She would love that. Ghosty Ghosty's funny. Oh, yeah, you can jump. I forgot. I feel like you can't jump in every game. Every game. Oh. Not and then this is the place where you first see like your first objective. So in that top right, you'll see the green is kind of your major missions and whatnot. And as I enter close to the crypt up here, which is where I'm supposed to be, you'll see what just popped in is kind of like a mission objective. So it's telling me I have to defend this gate uh, against the ghost for like a certain amount of time, or you have to kill like a certain amount of ghosts. Maybe I can't quite remember, but basically you're fighting off the ghosts here. And then after a certain point of killing enough of them, you're able to go into the crypt and kind of continue the mission. And this comes up pretty often throughout the game where you basically have these objectives and then and they kind of gate the rest of the activity, but it works out super well and they do a good job of explaining it to you. Ah! I'm up here now, so that way you can see the camera. He means see the map, not the camera. We need some warriors to get down there and back them up, she said. What do I get? Oh, more dailies. Oh, nice. One less luck, like one gold. One gold? Am I rich? I got 45 gold. Ooh, and 3,000, 300,000 karma. I wonder if that's good or not. This game's gonna be a mishmash of brand new player meets guy who played thousand years. Wait, I can do this, right? Age? You played this character for 13 minutes across all characters. You played for 377 hours over 4,158 days. I gotta go find my Guild Wars one hours, baby, because those numbers are rookie numbers. My blood honors Ascalon. Yeah, there was like a race war between these guys in the first game. I remember that. A little too serious. It's not funny anymore. To remind these ghosts who's in charge. We're going to hit Baradin so hard it'll take him weeks to reappear. Yeah. What up, losers? These are peasants. This, these dudes were poor in real life, and now I'm chopping them to bits. This seems sad. So at this point, we're like continuing the fight towards the end of this kind of starter mission. So this is like the Duke Baradin. He's a guy, I remember the name at least from the first game. He was like a rich lord or whatever, but he's back as a ghost. He's trying to destroy us. We're gonna kill him. And then he won't pop up for a few more weeks. So that's good, I guess. Smack him around a little bit. Boom. now how do, I get, how do i hit him oh i'm beating up his grave his casket that's dark dude 
I like it so far. Get lost, look nerd, loser. I was gonna say loser. I heard what you did down in that crypt, soldier. Impressive. Thank you. I'm very impressive. Tribune Brimstone was calling the shots. I just did my job. So it seems like all these cutscenes, I don't really remember them, but I think all of them are this kind of talking head style where one person's talking to the other person. And so this lady's basically like, oh my gosh, you're incredible. Thank you so much for doing that. And my guy's like, hey, it wasn't me. It was it was the Captain Brimstone or whatever, which, you know, is whatever. I'm going to take credit if I can take it. But then she's like, you know, the war is not going so well over here. I bet if people saw a guy like you helping out, I bet things would, uh, would get better for us all or something. I don't know. And so she's basically trying to convince me to go do work for her. So I ultimately do decide to do the work, I guess, or I'm forced to do the work. So this is where I get to go out into the kind of open world stuff. So we're going to see more of this in the next episode. But thanks for watching this, guys. Make sure you subscribe to me on YouTube. You can follow me on Twitch or here on YouTube. I also stream regularly. I'll be streaming a lot of Guild Wars over the next few weeks and whatnot. And I'm very, very excited for that. So make sure you give me a follow. Get a like if you appreciate the video and whatnot. We'll see you guys in the next one. Damn.